So we are talking about water. Water. So if we are to deal with water, there's something we need to know and we need to follow. We all know that uh, the amount of accessible fresh water amount we have in the earth is less than even 0.5% of the total we have. That is the reason why we need to use it wisely and what we are talking about this management because of its, uh, everyone knows uh, that is a kind of finite resource. So we have the technology for converting the sea water into drinking water, but it's not so easy and price is not so affordable. Okay, when we compare with the other, other water sources. So that's why water management is very important. The composition of the categories in the water cycle can be varied, but as a whole, I mean, when you see this water cycle, uh, the picture right side, I mean, we know this water cycle from the childhood, we are learning about that. We learn from the beginning, okay, uh, the precipitation and uh, the surface runoff and the rivers forming, and after that we extract water for the areas, and after that we have certain amount of wastewater. So the water cycle goes on in different categories. The amount inside within the cycle uh, allocated for various categories will be varied but as a whole it's a kind of finite amount. This is why in the in uh, the Dublin Water Summit in 1992 it was agreed to have a common water management principles. It is called Integrated Water Resource Management Principles or Dublin Principles. So we need to know about this because it's very important if you are going forward. Uh, I would like to uh, brief it very not in, very briefly. Okay. It says the fresh water is a finite and vulnerable source. So it, it understand, okay, it is a very, uh, okay, it's a finite. I mean, we, we know the amount we have is finite amount. So that is why we need uh, to manage it. And the second, the water development and management should be based on participatory approach involving users, planners and policy makers at all levels. So this is talking about I mean the inter, uh, integration of the uh, participatory approach, the integration of when we are talking about water, when we are uh, taking the decisions and everything, we need to go for an integrated approach it's not only us or it's not only someone uh, who use the water so we need to take care about this one or this also and the other two women play a critical uh, central part in the provision management and the safeguard of water and the last one water has an economic value as well as it has a social value so this is very important it's not only i mean okay in the early child days uh, it is said that okay, water is coming from the rain. It is uh, okay. So that is uh, why we what we need to understand. It has an economic value. That's why we are we are investing amount of money uh, to treat water, to safeguard the water. I mean, still it has a social value as well. So this is the four principles uh, which we need to consider in terms of uh, water resource management.